Hello, hello everybody, it's your old pal Tuna here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a studio vlog. Uh, it is literally going to be like three days in the studio, but it should be a few action-packed days. And if you are new here, if you've never met me before, hello, my name is Tuna. I'm an illustrator and comic artist from Canada. Okay, so you saw me setting up to complete a painting. Um, I do these pet portrait commissions. I've been doing a ton so far this year. They are super, super fun, but this one's gonna be a little bit different because this commission has actually requested that uh, their face be in the painting as well. Now, I have not actually painted a person with this particular technique, so I am excited and terrified to <laughs> give it a try. And while we do that, what I actually wanted to talk to you about today is the social media algorithm. And that is to say that I actually had my first successful post on Instagram in over a year, I would say. Um, I got, I went viral, as they say. And the most amazing part is, it wasn't even a reel. So let's get to painting and let's talk about social media virality and what that means for you. So in hindsight, I really wish I had a different painting to share with you guys because this one totally turns out weird and it's all good. We're just gonna watch me do my thing because one way or the other, it all looks the same. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to tell you about what happened on Instagram this last month. I actually had my most successful post in over a year. I used to have 100,000 followers and I've been decaying to, I think it was 101 maybe, I've been decaying to 98. And in the last little bit, I gained 1,000 followers off of the posts that went viral. And I wish I could tell you that I now had the answer to all of my questions, but I only have more questions because of my analytics, like 20% of the people who saw it were already following me and 80% of the people who saw it were not following me. And the 20% of the people who saw it was like less than 10% of my actual follower count over on Instagram. So at this point, I don't really know what to gauge or how to do, but it really goes to show that it is possible to not be making the reels in the way that Instagram wants you to and still be able to get some semblance of reach. And it really just goes to show that the only thing you can do is keep trying and hoping that eventually one of these posts is gonna make its way around. Um, it was a carousel style, so a bunch of photos of the a recent pet portrait that I did that turned out really well, unlike this particular painting that I'm doing. Um, and it was really striking, I suppose, and that was kind of what caught people's attention. I think if you are feeling confused about what you're supposed to do on social media, then you are in the same boat as me. That's why I've been really enjoying YouTube, because it just offers a little freedom from that micro grind. And yeah, hopefully we'll all get through this weird storm together. All right, so I think things are going well. Since this is my first time painting a person, it's like kind of hard for me to know exactly what to expect of myself. And just actually to backtrack on that statement, it's not my first time painting a person, but it's my first time in a long time and in this particular pet portrait style. The only reason I'm checking in is because I've decided to go for a walk before it gets too dark to clear my head to come back to it. And I'm also kind of burning out on actually filming the clips because it takes me out of my focus a little bit. So yeah, take a break, come back to it. Um, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll see.
Checking in everyone, I am excited because I just got a box from DHL. This is a sticker order. I order stickers once a month. I order a ton of stickers. I go through a ton of stickers and this month I have two new sticker designs and a few restocks. It's a bit of a smaller order, but let's take a look inside this box. My particular supplier is a supplier that I buy from in bulk from China. Amazing! So the first one that I got, this is a design from two years ago, August or September. This was right after I got back from Ireland and I was picking up the sticker club again. And this design I took out of circulation for a while, but I redesigned the background and I'm going to re-release it. Here we have the sticker sheet for September's theme, Alien Crossing, which is like Animal Crossing, but on an alien planet. So this sticker sheet features these lovely alien designs and a dark blue background, which is really fun. It's always like kind of makes me uncomfortable to go with a dark background, but for certain themes, it punches it up a bit. So this one is for October. This is my Meow Loween theme and I'm like walking a little bit further away and trying something different this year because I can't help myself because the whole um, main Meowloween event will be themed around the Perberus. So for the sticker club, I wanted to do a, it's kind of like Greek mythology because Perberus, Cerberus, very loosely inspired by Greek mythology, but I tried some fun compositional stuff with having it be like mirrored down the middle kind of so yeah and then the last restock this is a design from last june june 2022 for the witchcraft theme and i've been meaning to bring this one back into rotation for a while and i guess i just kept forgetting so yeah she's back and exactly the same as before i didn't make any changes to this one well, I have you. I spent the entire day repainting the person's face in this painting. Um, I don't, I don't have anything more to say about it. But I, I don't think I'm gonna be doing more people in the future. <laughs> Pets only. Same day as the last clip. I wanted to update you on what I have been up to. Uh, the main thing is whoop, that I have been working on this t-shirt design for the art crawl event in October that I am doing with a brewery here and they're hosting me and I'm going to put my art all over the walls and it's going to be fabulous and they wanted to do a crossover t-shirt for the event too so yeah that's my design for that. The painting repaint is complete so passing that on to the commissioner to see what they think about it. And my next task is, surprise, this is actually also an Artist Alley vlog. I am going to an event tomorrow called Word Literary Festival. It's literally like a literary festival for people who make books. And I happen to make comic books, or at the very least, I've made three graphic novels. So my friend who's actually like part of the board of directors or something like that invited me to come help rep comics at the show. So I'm going to bring my sticker sheets, I'm going to bring my graphic novels, and I'm going to bring my pins to a half size table and spend the day there. In complete contrast to Meow Fest, this is going to be super, super laid back. I have done nothing aside from go down to my storage unit to grab the stuff that I need. So let's pack up a bag and get ready to get over there tomorrow.
Good morning, welcome to Word Festival Day. Uh, I forgot to bring my tripod, so getting any footage of actually setting up was next to impossible. It is just before 10, we are meant to start at 10, so I guess that's the plan. We are right downtown in the heart of Vancouver. Like I've mentioned before, I have zero expectations of how this will go, and hopefully I will just be able to spend a nice early autumn day outside. I have just arrived home. First things first, I don't know what is going on with the lighting in this particular spot or if it's my makeup, but I look far more like a corpse than I feel. I actually feel great. The day went by really quickly and I have no complaints. <laughs> Believe it or not. So let's talk about it. Um, uh, highlights were definitely the people. Everyone was very kind and friendly. And because the event was two things, it was niche. So a lot of people were there specifically to attend the event, but the people who weren't were just kind of passing through, but there wasn't a huge volume. So it was relatively slow for a con or a market type event, but there was just the right pace where I was basically able to have conversations, not be shooing people along, not feel like I was bored for any length of time. I don't know. It felt really, really nice. And not like you get sometimes when you go to markets, especially when they're in more like normy environments where people are kind of like breezing by confused about what's going on exactly. But that was not the vibe that I got at all here. Like everyone was excited and eager to see what we were doing. And if I didn't mention, this is a literary festival, so it wasn't an art thing. It was more about books and comics, which was why I was there. Sold a bunch of comics, which is my favorite type of thing to sell at the tables because it's like people are really taking a chance on me and my art. But other than that, the stickers, the sticker sheets, they were my best bet. And I came out of the day with, uh, I think about $500 in sales. The table was a hundred, so not too bad. It was just a half size table. And deduct 50 bucks for the two Ubers that I took. That's not bad for a day's work, really. Of course, there's all of the calculations in terms of like the cost of the items that I was selling themselves, but I didn't do anything for this show. So let's look back at Meow Fest, for example. I made $1,000 at Meow Fest, but my table was 400. There was like a week of prep. I made a bunch of new merchandise for it. So when you turn that 1,000 into like what it actually represents, it was so disappointing. But for this one, I had no expectations. The expenses were super low. It was just a day of my time and I'm very happy with the turnaround. So I am delighted to say that for the first time in a while, we have ourselves a successful market vlog. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for joining me here for another week in the studio slash not in the studio slash whatever it is that I'm doing. As always, I wanna give a huge shout out to my patrons in my snack pack over on Patreon. If you want access to more videos, podcasts, digital downloads, printable stuff, and even mailable rewards. You can come join us in the Snack Pack over on Patreon. These are the people who are making YouTube possible 100%. So thank you so much. If you are there for one month, if you are there for two months, if you have been there for, I think it's six years now that I've been running my Patreon, then, and some of you, some of you have been here that whole time. I. Thank you for all of your support and I hope that, I hope that it's been worth it. <laughs> if you haven't already liked the video, go and do that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you made it to the end of the video, then you should probably do that as well. There is so much more to come here on the channel. I have another market literally a week today and then I'm gonna do a show in Penticton, BC where I'm actually a guest artist and I'm doing a panel, oh my God. I just booked two more craft fairs for the holiday season, so there's plenty more fun to come around, but I wanna know 
what are you looking forward to this fall? I'm so excited about the season changing. So me, I'm already like dreaming of wearing toques and drinking hot beverages. And we went out for a walk the other day and one person had a pumpkin on their stoop, so it's official. But anyway, stay sparkly. Don't let the cruel world dull your shine and I will see you next time.